Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down Simple Man. And also thanks to my friends at Boss for sponsoring this video and making two awesome sounding patches for the Boss Katana. Uh, the downloads are free and in the links below, uh, we've got a killer clean sounding uh, patch and a really nice overdriven sound. Uh, so check those out and let's get to the lesson. So you have a C chord or C major. <laughs> a G major, which you can play that way or that way, and then A minor, and then A minor seven by putting your pinky on the third of the high E. Like that. So the intro, you're gonna play the open A string, second fret, ring finger on the third fret, forming the C major. Then you're gonna hop over to the G string. And then from there you go G, D, A string. So just down the consecutive strings. Then hop up to the B string. Three consecutive strings. So B, G, D, G. So all together. to see that same basic pattern on the other chords. We're going to go to that G chord and we're going to do G and this time we're going to hop over to the D string. So it's just these lowest three strings. Watch. E string, D string, A string. over to the G string and do that same type pattern, G, D, A, D. So that whole G form. Put them together really slow. Go to the A minor, we hit the open A string and hop over to the G string and go down G, D, A. And once again, you hop over and we're, we've scooted back from the G, but it's the same pattern just over a string. So that A minor. So let's start from the top. Now you just put your pinky down and all we're going to do different now is we're going to start with that A string, but now we're going to hop over to the B string and do that same pattern. So. So A string, B string, G string, D string, high E string, B, G, B. So that last pattern once again. And right after that B string, So on that last A minor, you're going to actually cut that pattern short. I wanted to show you the full pattern so you get it, but it cuts short to pick up the 
again. So that last one actually ends up being, well, I'll do the two last A minors. So instead of like the pattern would do, especially if you're the only guitar player, right after the high E to B, you start over to that. singing comes in the pattern i mean there's obviously multiple guitars but you could keep that same pattern for the verses uh tends to get a little less exact a little more a little bit more strummy in there <laughs> goes a little bit earlier than in the normal riff during the verse. So the next thing is a little riff. And if you wanted, you could use the overdrive patch that comes with in the free download. Um, so that just starts like the C chord. O, two, three. And then from the five, you could bend it or slide it. So. Five to seven, back to five. Three, and then three on the E string. And then right to that five slide. Or it's an A note. You can do that either way, so. It's E, G, E, A, and you can go. But later in the song, when it's power chords, it would be more of a. So that's why I'm showing you both ways. Um, so. So with that overdrive on, now you have the power chord chorus, and it uses that. But if we're doing uh, power chords, you could play a C power chord right here, three, five, five. And then a G power chord is just scooted up to the three on the E string, then five, five. Then an A, the A minor, will play A power chord. I'm not getting that B string in there. It's just the second fret D and G in the open A. I'm going, oh, three, oh, A 
power chord. Now you could also play a C major and mute that the D string with your middle finger. And then the G power chord you can play this way with the third on the B and muting the A string. And then the A power chord. guys enjoyed the lesson uh, also huge shout out again to boss for sponsoring this video and making those two killer patches for the katana in the links below thanks again for your continued support and uh we'll see you later